Good morning, Proniacs. Welcome to Success Stories Sunday. But instead of success stories, what I'm going to tell you is about a story of growth, which in all cases I can point to maturity. It all started with maturity. And what maturity means to me is the way that John Maxwell put it is being immature is focusing on yourself. Being mature or earning maturity, maturity is focusing on others. So this makes itself very relevant when we talk about success and how success works. We've talked about a success as a meaning is only uh, defined by the way that you believe and think it. So if you think that you can achieve success in an ind at an individualistic level, like do it by yourself, and you're the only person that can control or um, make that possible, then you're thinking in small potential terms. But if you are mature and you think that you need the help, you use the help, you, you can't live without it, then you dip into the cooperation and aspects of love and uh, maturity. So I want to talk a little bit further about maturity in the sense that you focus on yourself. So if you are immature, then it's sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to get started or be successful. And I'll tell you a little bit of a reason of why I think that is. Because when you're focused on yourself, there's only one person to let down. And that's yourself. So you could be disgusting. You could be, uh, you know, you could let yourself down. You could sleep in in the morning because who cares, right? You're not letting anybody else down. It's all about yourself. That's who you're focused on. But if you're looking to grow, if you're looking to progress, if you're looking to help any sort of team, if you're looking to help your family, help your community, help the universe, help the world be a part of something bigger than you are, then and only then you can use your big potential and grow to be something that you want to become. Because for the person that much is given, much is expected. And living this principle, you need to be mature and you have to go through the process of maturation. And that's one of the ways that life affects us and it hits us right in the face with challenges, obstacles, and that's how we learn and grow. The way that we respond to these different challenges and obstacles that's how we mature. That's how we find out that it is about more than just ourselves and where we are in our community. There's a whole linked society, there's whole universe that's in galaxies, right? That we have no control over other than to continue to grow ourselves. That's go ahead and creating this to a cooperation in regards to um, competitiveness. So instead of being competitive, being cooperative to bring the whole market up. Because, you know, a rising tide raises all boats. And that's what you want to be, a rising tide working for the greater good rather than working for yourself to get the next biggest buck or uh, develop something for your own ego. I hope this helps you out today. It does help me a lot just talking about it, but you have to go to the maturation state in order to get that situation of self-focus out of your mind and develop a sense of connect and cooperation with love rather than feeding your ego. So it's not what I say or do, which is why the way I make you feel is what you're going to remember.